Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for Monday, the 15th of January 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in the Asian session today. Let's have a look at what's come across the news wires. Of course, US markets on Friday traded near neutral with small losses in the Dow to close the week in quarters territory. We did see soft PPI, but we had mixed results from big bank earnings. Of course, it is a big week of earnings ahead with expectations generally pessimistic which possibly merits that market caution. US futures are mildly lower in Asian trading, and Asian markets are cautious in early trading as well. ASX is a near neutral. Last I looked, it was around about 0.1% of the upside, certainly up to the lows of the session. European futures are also pointing to a cautiously positive open. US dollar index is still trading near the top of the range, not much movement on Friday. Gold did bounce off short-term support at 2030, to move back towards that key 2050 level. It is up slightly today in Asia. We saw a soft week in copper last week after dropping through that 200 MA tested early December lows on Friday. But up slightly in Asia today, it looks as though there might be a small bounce and oil is still trading mid-range. Bitcoin dropped significantly to close the week lower and gap down in this morning's trading. It may actually test 40,000 when 50,000 looked as though it was on the cards for much of last week. A little data today to move markets with the exception of Eurozone industry production and trade balance numbers, neither of which are going to impact much outside of the local currency. Of course, US company reporting ramps up this week, and that's going to be the major market focus over the next few days. A couple of charts at CoreRI today. JB Hi-Fi after a really strong week last week, with the retest of that key level at 53, saw it move up to around about 57.50 to end the week. You can see that gap up and trading near the highs of the session. Uh, this is all-time highs for this stock, and that $60 is possibly a key psychological market level. If we do breach that, then a move up to 65 in the medium term looks like a possibility. FX markets looking pretty flat at this stage, but we have seen some choppiness in some crosses. The Aussie dollar is looking interesting. If we look at against the euro on the 30 minute chart you can see there is a key level far from where we're trading now under 164 i think that's a, an important level and one that if it's breached we could see it move up around about 50 or 60 pips during the course of the day trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now